welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you the items in my makeup collection that my fangirl side made me buy. I know there is a tag called YouTube made me buy it but my entire makeup collection is literally YouTube made me buy it. And so I thought it might be fun to share with you items in my makeup collection that my fangirl side made me buy. Um, what I mean by that is these are makeup products that some of my favorite actresses have worn in specific roles that I absolutely adored and I thought that you know if I had it I might be empowered by some of their characteristics if that makes any sense. Probably not, it's probably just clutching at straws but you know I don't care. I have these makeup products that I love and I love to wear these so without further ado let's just get into them. And I'm not talking about actresses that are very, very, very popular. I'm talking about ones that are in my favorite TV shows like Star Trek Voyager, Major Crime. So I have a couple of makeup products that were used on Kate Mulgrew when she starred in Star Trek Voyager as Captain Catherine Janeway. A lot of people might know Kate Mulgrew now as Red, Galena Resnikoff in Orange is the New Black. I absolutely adore her in Orange is the New Black. I've been a fan of Kate Mulgrew since I was 11 years old. So I've been a fan of her for about 17 years now. I'm currently 28. And it's pretty much around my anniversary of getting into Star Trek. So I'm a very happy bunny right now and there's new Star Trek coming out. But I find this website called Makeup411 that had a breakdown of all of the makeup items that a makeup artist used on an actress on a specific role. They can, it can be a television show, it can be a movie. Some of them are music videos, but in this particular instance, this, these are the makeup products that were used on Kate Mulgrew as Captain Janeway in the pilot episode of Voyager. I only managed to get about four items from that list, but I love them nonetheless. So the first item that I got was a lipstick from MAC and that is Twig. This is my favorite nude lipstick ever. This is one that I reach for literally every single day that I'm putting makeup on. It doesn't matter if I have a smoky eye, if I have a very simple eye, I reach for this lipstick and it is one of my favorites and anytime that I'm having a really crap day or I need to feel empowered, I need to do like what would Janeway do? What, how would Janeway handle this situation? I reach for Twig and I'm pretty sure that I wore this on a couple of my interviews for a job. Didn't get the job, but that's my fault. That's not down to the lipstick. Then I picked up three eyeshadows that I just have in this little Z palette. And so I got Espresso, Orb, and Malt. And Espresso got a little bit of an injury from the potting, but this is just a very nice brown eyeshadow. It's very good for just a very nice smoky eye. On Janeway she doesn't really have a lot of eyeshadows but she has enough to really bring attention to her eyes and just create some depth and dimension to her eyes and at times when I'm looking at her eyeshadow at times I think that she has a little bit of a shimmer on her eyes but I'm not entirely sure. I'm not a makeup artist I just that's just what I see sometimes especially with the camera angles. And Orb is just a very nice all over the eyelid shade. This could probably be a brow bone highlight. If you are of a darker complexion than me, this is too dark, way too dark for my brow bone, but is still a gorgeous eyeshadow color. And then Malt, which is pretty much a malt color. It's just lovely and a great one for just a start off color in the crease area and that's pretty much where I think that they use it on her or on the lower lash line. And the next item I picked up was another lipstick but it's not one that was specifically used on Kate Mulgrew but later on in the run of the series Janeway's lip color became a bit darker and had a bit of, more of a mauve undertone. I couldn't find anywhere what that lip color was and so a friend of mine actually suggested Whirl from MAC as well and so I picked it up and this is a deeper color to twig. It's almost identical but it's just deeper. It it's, has a more brown into, into it and a bit more a uh, slight tinge of mauve. This is just when I need to imbue the later seasons of Gina White where she was like ready to go on all Ahab on Captain Ransom. Season 5, Season 6, two-parter Equinox. I just love this lip color. This is this was the one that was pretty much all the rage a year and a half ago I think when one of the Jenner sisters was using the Whirl lip liner. I think. I don't really care about them. I don't really follow anything Kardashian Jenner wise 
And then this is not one that was used on any kind of actor or actress, but I purely got it for the name. And that is the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Catherine. I absolutely love the color of this and the name of it, as soon as I saw the name of it and the spelling of the name of it, I knew I had to have it because it spells it the same way that Captain GMI spells her name. K-A-T-H-R-Y-N. I had to have it, so... I went right onto Sephora and got this. This is one of my favorite colors to wear. It complements my skin tone beautifully. Even if I'm just wearing eyeliner and my lenses or if I have my glasses on, then this complements everything beautifully. And it's one of my favorite summer shades as well. So I will be breaking this out soon. It's like every time I hold this one up, the clouds just descend and my lighting goes, damn it. Then keeping on the theme of Star Trek, this is a lipstick that, again, was not used specifically on a character or an actress, but I wanted to get the lipstick that was used on Colonel Kira Nerys in Star Trek Deep Space Nine, but there was no information anywhere on what that lip color was, and a friend of mine actually had the balls <laughs> to tweet the actress and then a visitor and ask her what the lip color was, and she responded and said that it wasn't any one color, it was a combination of a lot of lip colors but just like go for something that had, was very rust looking and so I was like damn, damn. So I did the next best thing. I got several screen caps of Colonel Kira and I took them on my phone up to the nearest Mac counter in Belfast and asked one of the makeup artists there and they recommended the lips color chili. This is a matte color and I wanted something matte because Kira's lips never had a sheen to them. They never looked glossy and so I knew it was something matte and they went across with all of their red colors that had a rust undertone and picked out chili. I do have red lip colors but none of them have a rust undertone. They're either cool or warm, not in between and they didn't have the rust one. And so I actually used this for my Major Kira Nerys inspired makeup tutorial which I will have linked in the cards and in the description box below. This gives me very strong Kira vibes whenever I wear it and it's just a beautiful lip color that complements my skin tone as well. Just I just love it. The next item that I got was a lipstick that was actually worn by the actress themselves. This was actually divulged by the actress herself on Twitter. That is Besame's lipstick in the color Red Velvet. Besame is a makeup company that uses vintage packaging in all of their products and the vintage design of their products like this lipstick. It's very different to everything else because it is a straight edge. And that's how they did their lipstick back in the 40s. They used this straight edge as the lip liner and then they just used it to pull the color down onto the lips. And I absolutely love this color. It's the color that she wore as Agent Peggy Carter in the TV show Marvel's Agent Carter. I loved that TV show. I loved Agent Carter. I loved Hayley Atwell as Agent Carter. She was just so good. I loved her makeup in the entire series. And so I had to pick this up. Fun fact, whenever we were doing Sunset Boulevard in the Grand Opera House in Belfast, I used this as my lip color. Because Sunset Boulevard is set in the late 40s, early 50s, this color was going to be perfect. And of course, the vintage packaging really helped as well to make it look authentic on stage. I never got to actually to use it on stage. The scene where I would have had a handbag to reapply my makeup, I never got a chance to reach for it because it was a singing and dancing number. So this never got to have its debut on stage. Then the last four products I have in my fangirl makeup collection are all items that I got because of Mary McDonnell. If you don't know who Mary McDonnell is, she played President Laura Roslin in Battlestar Galactica and is currently playing Captain Sharon Raider in Major Crimes. And the first makeup product that I was told was used on her was Shy Girl by MAC. I promise this is not sponsored by MAC, it's just I have a lot of MAC products. They're used on a lot of people by a lot of makeup artists, so I'm sorry. But I got Shy Girl when a girl on Tumblr messaged me saying that this was the lipstick that was being used on her in Major Crimes. I'm so glad that she messaged me telling me that because this is one of my perfect nude lip colors. I reach for this whenever I have a really smoky eye, a very dramatic eye, and it just complements any look beautifully even on my skin tone it's very nice it's not too cream it's not too orange it's just beautiful and at times when I'm watching major crimes I can be like yep I think that's shy girl they're using on her 
yep, I think that's it. This really allows me to channel Captain Reader. And fun fact, everybody gets my name wrong and a lot of people call me Sharon, so. Yay! This item was actually shared on Twitter by the makeup artist that was on Major Crimes at the time, Christina Vogel. And this is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzer and this is in the color 30M. I'm currently wearing it today as my bronzer. I got the same shade as Mary even though she's not as fair as me because at times the lighter shade just wasn't picking up anything and like sometimes you really have to swirl your brush around in this to get any color payoff and so that's great because you can go in with a very light hand and still get a very light return and so you're not going to screw up your bronzer and that's one of my biggest fears in makeup is screwing up my bronzer because I don't want to look like an Oompa Loompa and I run that risk because I am so fair. It's just a lovely bronzer. At times, like just looking at it, you think it should look wrong on my skin, but it really doesn't. I really like it. There are times when I don't reach, reach for this for ages, and then there are times when I just reach for it again, and then I'm just like, why am I not using this? So I have a bronzer. And the last two items, they are on the pricey side, but I want to preface this by saying I did not pay full price for these okay so the first item is a blush that was shared on an interview on one of the Mary fan sites with the makeup artist Robin Siegel. Robin Siegel is famous for doing the makeup on the TV show Friends, The Closer, Major Crimes for a few seasons and is currently as a makeup artist on the TV show Grace and Frankie which I absolutely adore and she does the makeup for Jennifer Aniston, Felicity Huffman, Jane Fonda and she does amazing work and so in the interview she shared that she uses the Chanel Jeu Contrast blush in the shade Frivol or Frivol, Frivoli, whichever way you want to pronounce it. Gorgeous colour right here. At times I don't reach for this very often because a lot of time I forget that it's there because I just reach for my Z palettes a lot of time when I'm just doing my makeup because they're handy to just lift out instead of flicking through all of my blushes but I am so glad that I do. I bought this off of eBay for a fraction of the price. It's just a beautiful peach coral blush. I'm wearing it today. It's just lovely. Bam girl made me buy it. And the last product is a lipstick again shared by Robin Siegel. And that is the Chanel Rouge Coco lipstick in the color Mademoiselle. This is not a far cry from Twig. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative for a Mary McDonald inspired lip color, use Twig instead of going all out for the Chanel. As I said, I did not pay full price for this. I used my Boots points to get this lip product and I used 2500 of those points. I love this lipstick. It is just the perfect nude shade for me. I love reaching for this a lot. It just sits on my vanity and I just reach for it a lot. If I'm just running out the door, it just swipes on so easily. The shape of the bullet just makes it effortless to put on and it's just, it makes every single makeup look look very sophisticated. It just makes even just a little bit of eyeshadow in the crease just to define your eyes and winged eyeliner and this. It just makes it look so sophisticated and put together and it's one of my favourite lipsticks that I have in my collection and I do not regret purchasing this with my Boots Points. So those are all the makeup products in my collection that I bought because my favourite actresses was were wearing them as my favourite characters. What items in your makeup collection are because your favourite actress was wearing them or your favourite character was wearing them? Let me know in the comments down below. Give it a thumbs up if you like this type of video where I share makeup products like this with you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!